However, subject to regulatory approvals from, amongst others, the Central Bank of Kenya, Banki Central du Congo, the Commercial Competition Commission, and the two boards, Equity Group Holdings will pay a cash consideration of 105 million US dollars or an equivalent of 10.5 billion shillings for the 625, 350,000 shares to be purchased inclusive of dividends declared after 1st January 2019 in respect of the financial year ending on 31st December 2019, which is a come dividend price per share of US dollars 167.9 per share. Equity Group Holdings CEO Dr. James Mwangi says in a statement, this is an opportunity for the group to take further steps towards the delivery of its vision of building Sub-Saharan Africa's premier financial institution through delivering innovative products and services to customers including, in particular, the effective use of technology. Equity Group also proposes to increase its shareholding in Equity Bank Congo. In this regard, Equity Group Holdings shareholders approved the purchase by Equity Group Holdings of the shares held by KFW, that is Credit South for Wonderbar, comprising 7.6% of the issued share capital of Equity Bank Congo SA, following the excess of a put option granted by KFW under a shareholders agreement relating to Equity Bank Congo entered into between, amongst others, Equity Group Holdings and KFW. The proposed acquisition of the shares held by KFW is also subject to the approval of Banque de Centrale de Congo. In addition to Equity Bank Kenya, the group has banking subsidiaries in Rwanda, Uganda, South Sudan, Tanzania and DRC, with additional non-banking subsidiaries engaged in, among others, provision of investment banking, custodial and insurance agency. Regina Manyera Guitar reporting for Channel One business.